so sir why is it not audible am i audible now yes you are audible you are audible sir so good evening Har harikesh sir why is it not audible you are uh, he it's audible harikesh aap network check kariye mujhe clear aawaz aa raha hai sir ka सर मेरे तरफ कुछ नहीं सुनाई दे रहा है केतन सर का अरे आई एम ट्राइंग टू स्पीक इज इट ऑडिबल हां सर अभी आ रहा है यस सर अभी आ रहा है ठीक है फाइन फाइन लेट्स स्टार्ट नाउ सो गुड इवनिंग हरिकेश कैन यू क्विकली इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ यस सर माय नेम इज हरिकेश यादव एंड आई एम फ्रॉम जौनपुर इन उत्तर प्रदेश एंड आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय बीटेक इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इन 2022 फ्रॉम आईआईटी लखनऊ and sir okay. currently sir i am preparing for gate and es exam okay so tell me something about the famous things uh, places about lucknow hello hello yeah harikesh i have asked you yes, tell, tell me something uh, some uh, places of lucknow that are historical in nature sir uh, recently sir ekana and uh, and bada imam bada and chhota imam bada and janeshwar misra park which is uh, largest park in asia sir okay is there any river which flows across lucknow hello harikesh हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल सर नेटवर्क मेरी साइड देखे सर आवाज आती बीच बीच में एम आई ऑडिबल टू अदर्स यस सर जयेश क्या एम आई ऑडिबल प्रॉपर्ली यस सर हां सर आई थिंक हरिकेश and yeah, some network issues are there at your end okay okay so uh, right now i'm not taking your interview maybe some next candidate uh, can uh, come okay for time being and uh, once it is done then you better switch to a better network and then we can take your interview harikesh okay sir repeat sir am i so nahi paya sir uh i will take your interview after few minutes okay for time being i am taking the interview of some other candidate because there is some network issues at your end which i see see sir okay yeah. abhimanyu is your network fine now um, yes sir okay yeah ठीक है जस्ट वेट अ सेकंड आई एम स्टार्टिंग द रिकॉर्डिंग ऑप्शन Hello, yeah. Uh, am I audible now properly? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Fine. So we'll start Abhimanyu now. So good evening, Abhimanyu. Ah, hmm. uh, please briefly introduce yourself. Sir, my name is Abhimanyu Yadav. I am from Agra, Uttar Pradesh. Uh, I have done my B Tech in Civil Engineering from Dail Bagh Education Institute, Agra, and then I have done my M Tech from IIT Roorkee in Water Resource Department with a specialization in Irrigation Water Management. and right now i am preparing for bdl interview okay so you want to go in bdl yes sir 
then why are you coming in this special mock interview sir i thought that it was for everyone in uh, civil okay, engineering okay 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 fine 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 no issues oh, i thought ki this is specifically for the uh, hpcl candidates okay fine okay sir so ha uh, so uh, tell me like uh, how do you find the place agra is it uh, a good place to live in for future per, for from the perspective of future or not so it is a good place it has a good tourism also so because of that also it is increasing hearing some voice also yeah okay tell tell so it is growing uh, because of the tourism also and there is uh, agra is also famous for various in industries like uh, food wear industries which is growing at a rapid rate mm -hmm. so i think uh, agra is a good place to live in future which river flows through agra sir so yamuna river flows through agra okay and taj mahal is on the banks of yamuna river right yes sir so what do you know about the foundation of taj mahal sir i don't have much idea about it okay no problem uh do you know about the soil of agra no sir no okay no problem so you did your mtech in uh, your water and resources engineering right yes sir irrigation water management irrigation and water management okay okay fine so tell me different types of irrigation what do you know that you know sir so they are mainly uh, surface irrigation Uh, then there is uh, subsurface irrigation uh, surface okay. irrigation is further divided into uh, <clears throat> uh, lift irrigation uh, indentation irrigation and various other practices uh, like uh, wild flooding uh, these are techniques actually uh, okay. like wild flooding irrigation uh, border irrigation sprinkler irrigation drip irrigation So for rice do you prefer sprinkler irrigation No sir actually rice, rice uh, needs rice needs a lot of water which is difficult to be provided by a uh, sprinkler so we general uh, prefer border irrigation for that So then where is the sprinkler irrigation preferred Uh so wherever there is uh, little scope for uh, land develop oh, sorry land labeling and field okay. preparations and also uh, where there is scarcity of water Hmm so they at those places we can prefer sprinkler irrigations so it has the better efficiency drip irrigation or sprinkler irrigation method sir uh, drip irrigation has a better efficiency Why? Um, because also losses are less in uh, drip irrigation as uh, wind and other factors doesn't affect drip irrigation and only uh, mm -hmm. small drop by drop we apply water to the roots so plants mm -hmm. absorb we provide only that much water which is required by the plants so other losses like evaporation seepage are prevented okay okay my, ne my next question is uh, if you have to provide a sheet pipe will you provide it close to the upstream yes. side of a dam or to the do downstream side of a dam so if we want to reduce the uplift uh, then we will uh, provide it upstream side and if we uh, want to prevent uh, a uh, mud pumping uh, then we will provide uh, pro provided downstream side are you sure yes sir so what is mud pumping uh, as a due to uh, seepage uh, when we uh, make the flow net at the last uh, potential drop there is a maximum chance of soil to get eroded uh, to seep away why why because it has the smallest size and we know that gradient is uh, equals to head loss upon per unit let the water travels and since its size is the smallest its gradients come out to be most uh, so if we uh, we are able to prevent it then we can prevent this pumping of mud okay so do you mention the term head loss how can you determine this head loss uh, sorry sir i can't recall right now try recalling uh, you have different theories right yes sir theories to kosla theory sir we can yes what is what of. is this theory uh, it says that mm -hmm. sir uh, when water flows uh, some head is lost uh, while seeping due to friction uh, 
okay okay no problem no problem yes, uh, now tell me something about the applications of ai in irrigation engineering sir we can use ai for uh, various things like for my i have done one project in my mtech thesis which was uh, to predict the groundwater quality uh, using past data uh, so in that we forecasted the groundwater quality in those areas where it is uh, difficult uh, to take uh, measurements and all Uh, so we can use ai in such places to forecast uh, future uh, water quality also to reduce cost because to take measurement of every nutrient or every parameter is tough so in such cases uh, ai can be useful also automatic sensors are developed that measures dis discharge and other uh, important okay. factors okay fine 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 i would like to elaborate more uh, on uh, let you know uh, Elaborate more on your MTech project. I will ask a few more questions related to that. At first, what parameters did you consider as a part of water quality parameters? Sir, what we did was uh, in different regions. Uh, there are different uh, substructure of rock, like somewhere uh, there are some quality like arsenic was much in concentrations. So at different regions, we considered different parameters according to their um, soil and their substrata. Yes, sir. uh so and using that uh, we calculated the water quality index and okay. we used to predict that water quality index so that we can find out that uh, which areas uh, in those region are at high risk of poor water quality so how did you give the weightage to the different water quality parameters by determining the water quality index okay so sir we followed a uh, entropy weighted method Uh, there are some set of rules in that, uh, so we don't have to assign the weight by ourselves. By because at times people can be wrong in judgments. So in that entropy so method. With the help of software. Yes, sir. Which so, software was that? So that actually it was not a software. It was a uh, some method. There is a, some uh, set of rules which that follows. Uh, But the, there should be some name of that rule or the method that, that you are following, right? that the name of that method is entropy weighted method so okay so if i ask you uh, in yes, my sir. place the quality content or the quality uh, of uh, water is not good at all okay and yes, if sir. i give you some four, four or five uh, parameters like the turbidity then the uh, color and uh, other things like the chemical parameters uh, which may include your bod or the yes. content uh, mineral content of the water so that may include the different minerals that are dissolved as a part of it like calcium magnesium iron so like how will you check ki i am uh, telling the right thing that the quality of water is good or not so based on these parameters how will you weigh this how will you take into consideration mm, sir uh, just suppose if some uh, if your area is uh, mainly uh, affected by bod problem so it will be given uh, maximum weightage by that method which i was following uh, mm -hmm. it automatically gives higher using by seeing past records that we used to train the model uh, so in that way uh, if all those things that are majorly affecting uh, it the maximum in, in use, uh, we assign maximum weightage as per the past records okay fine fine so what are your favorite subjects in civil engineering uh, sir uh, i like soil me soil mechanics uh, environment and rcc have also sir the, have you done the bod test yes sir what are the test conditions uh, that sir uh, it uh, test sample should be kept away from sunlight so that uh, no active microbial activities takes place also the final dissolve uh, dissolve oxygen should be greater than 1 mg per liter uh, okay. the difference in uh, bod should be more more than 2 mg per uh, liter between initial and final okay anything about temperature and is it done at 20, it was done at 25 degrees celsius 20, 25 degrees celsius 27 sorry 27 and for how many days for 5 day 
फाइव डेज एट ट्वेंटी सेवन यस सर आर यू श्योर यस सर इफ वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग बी ओ डी फाइव देन वी टेक फाइव डेज रीडिंग ओके एंड वॉट इज दैट देन बी ओ डी थ्री दैट इज इट इज फॉर थ्री डेज सर so what is the temperature for that is it same yes sir sure yes sir sir we also if we take it at some other temperature uh, then we can change yes, the i, I know i know that but is it the standard test condition yes sir it, um, for bd5 it is uh, the standard conditions are same actually it was uh, developed in no it seems you are little bit confused okay so temperature you no need to know properly if you have done the test okay you should have an idea of the exact temperature okay okay uh, yes. l- uh, let's continue so my next question is related to the design of uh, lintel have you designed yes sir. yes sir so yeah how do you take consider the loads acting on the lintel what are the different loads that you must mm. do so actually i have forgotten in some oh, cases we no take issues. rectangular load no issues no issues okay fine no problem so what are the different zones of earthquake sir i don't know sir. okay no problem uh you know about the lateral ties sorry sir lateral ties no sir lateral ties lateral i know ties? sorry sir it is yeah, in where is, it, where is it used sir it is used uh, in this is also we use it in various building structures steel structures we use it sir i think you are confused uh, to, with the term lateral ties we use in columns right okay no problem no problem uh then my next question is yes. what is the difference between this uh, ultimate stress method and working stress method in sir ultimate stress method uh, we provide uh, uh factor of safety in load we multiplied uh load factor in ultimate stress method and in working stress method we uh, reduce the strength of material by and uh, dividing it by a, a factor of safety uh in ultimate load factor uh, we consider uh, the plastic strength of the material also but in working st- uh, strength method we keep it up to the elastic limit only Uh, which is difficult to maintain because of uh, various stress concentrations and other effects okay okay my next question is uh, one more question related to environmental engineering only okay yes, so do you know something about air quality index i have heard it sir yes sir okay what is the air quality index of your area lucknow sir i don't know sir okay no problem so tell me something about the different types of fumes that uh, can occur from a chimney uh, different type of plumes yes uh, uh, neutral plumes sir uh, fanning plumes uh, if i say that uh, environmental lapse rate is greater than the adiabatic lapse rate which kind of plume will form it is it will be an unstable so unstable um, is good or bad sir it is it is uh it is good if there good. is sure. no if there is no lateral inversion above so are you sure yes sir okay and which is the worst kind of flow uh when there is uh, inversion above and it Maybe is unstable plume uh fumigating yes good plume. good one and last question is can you tell the difference between the elr and the alr uh environmental lapse rate and adiabatic lapse rate sir yes, 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 uh, when we rises up uh, environmental lapse rate when when we rise uh, up that uh, right. that the, when the when we and leave a air balloon which okay. instrument which is used to measure the temperature mm-hmm. it has mm-hmm. a thermometer so when it rises uh, that temperature drops so the rate at which it drops it is environmental lapse rate 
which uh, which actually the environment uh, and if we uh, leave a hot air 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 sample or something and the rate at which its temperature drops with the rise in height it is adiabatic lapse rate sir generally environmental lapse rate is taken as uh, 6.5 and dry adiabatic lapse rate is taken as uh, 9.8 and wet is taken as uh, 6 degrees celsius per kilometer okay so you mentioned the term that uh, as you go up the temperature go do goes down right yes sir is it true always not sir not always it is um, but in troposphere uh, because of some um, the, as we go up, there are some part uh, where due to radiations and all temperatures changes. It is not the same as near Earth. Okay, fine. Fine, your interview mm -hmm. is over, everybody. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Sir. So, if you have any questions to ask, sir, what all improvement I needed, sir, and since I haven't revised much. So what all yes. subjects should I cover first, which are asked the I, most I'm, in the interviews? Yes. I'm able to see this thing. Uh, see, at first, I would suggest you that subject that you mentioned, you should have a proper command over there. You mentioned RCC, and then you were not able to answer the question of a few questions. I, to I will come one by one. OK, I have noted down that. Uh, but before, as, as a general candidate, you should prepare hydrology, irrigation, because they are related to the water resources courses in which you have done MTech. So they are expecting key, you are excellent in that. Okay, you have done something in that. Next, you have also mentioned environment. So these three fluid related courses, so environment, hydrology, irrigation, must be in proper uh, command of you. Okay. And being a civil engineer, sub core subjects like RCC and structure are also important. But your priority should because you have done MTech and you have a master's degree in that, and that too from a reputed college. So you should be feeling more confident in these kind of subjects. Okay. Now, at first, uh, why were you confused about this Khosla theory and all? So haven't haven't you revised properly? No. It sir. seems that you have. Yeah, yeah it, it seems that you have not revised uh, them thoroughly. Okay. So all I want to tell you, ki at least you go through these subjects at once. That is related to your project. That is related to your uh, course curriculum. Okay. So go through these subjects at once so that at least you know the basic concepts of that. You know, you have heard the term Bosla theory, but you should have a basic idea. Ki why is it used? Where is it used? Okay. For determining exit gradient or which parameter it is used. Okay. And don't ever say yes if you are confused. So BOD5 at 20 degrees Celsius and BOD3 at 27 degrees Celsius are the standard test conditions. Don't ever say you are confident and we have done the BOD uh, 5 test at also 27 degrees Celsius. Okay. If you feel uh, like if you're feeling confused and then you can say sorry sir i am not able to recall like that okay but if you're selling telling ki you have done bod5 at 27 degrees celsius then they will surely tell yes you have done wrong experiment okay so they might they may think the, upon the quality of the content that you are given in the laboratory of your college okay so uh, so yes. are you able to recall now that you have done bod5 at 20 degree or not still so 20 degrees yes, celsius sir, is the yes, temperature at uh, for five days okay next yes, you should have an idea of the earthquake zones of at least of your area so your hometown and basic other information about your hometown is essential okay and you felt a quite nervous while speaking about this elr and al i i could not know the reason uh i had i think that you have not revised this uh, chapter properly the elr alr and the types of plume air pollution is uh, uh, not revised by you properly it seems like so okay mm. so just go through the environment also okay and this uh, troposphere uh, the temperature decreases as we go up in troposphere okay so you feel confident in speaking so there is no need of mentioning the radiation and all it happens above the troposphere the temperature goes up and then again it goes down so in troposphere it is the fixed scenario is that okay, up to the uh, troposphere the temperature goes down as we move up okay fine yes. So if you have any other questions, Abhi Manu. So okay. if I would so have how... to scale you on a scale of 10, then I would have given you 6.5 for time being. Okay. So you have okay. to you have to work a little bit more. Okay. So okay. just go through the Thank important you, subjects. You can be graded in the range of 6.5 to 7. Okay. So no need, no need okay. of worrying. 
uh, just focus on your key concepts more and brush in your knowledge. Fine. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So I think I am done with the session for today. Okay. Uh, maybe for the remaining candidates, we will continue the session tomorrow. Fine. So I'm closing the session. Okay. Sir. Hello. Yeah. One last. Arre, sir, le lijiye. Kal mera paper hai. Raat ko matlab ki saat baje tak to paper hi rahega. Fir. Okay. Fine. Then I can plan day after so tomorrow as well. Don't worry as of now. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. So one more interview, sir, can take. I'm sorry, I am done with the time right now. I have some other work scheduled at 8.15. Okay. So maybe we will continue tomorrow. Okay. Uh, sir, actually my interview is on 29 now, so I want. Okay, don't worry, I will take your interview tomorrow. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah.